so we're going to make this handle, this vinyl handle. The way we do it is that we take the piece of vinyl and it's whatever length you want it and the width is two inches. Okay, you're going to draw a line right in the middle. And you can, for that, you can use anything. You can use a marker, you can use a pen, you can use anything. Then you're going to take a double-sided tape. This is a one, one eighth of an inch with double-sided tape. And you're going to apply that tape, two pieces of those, one on one side of the line like this, and the other one on the other side of the line. Like that. And you're going to peel it off. Just press it and peel it off. Okay. So as you're peeling it off, you can see right there, kind of shiny, that's the sticky side. You are going to take the other side of the uh, strap, the, the long edge, and you're going to align it to that line right there in the center. Okay, and it's going to touch the sticky side. I just get a clip and I just put it in there to keep the fabric or the vinyl in place. And you do this little by little okay just a few steps at a time don't just pull the entire tape and try to do it at once because it will get it can get sticky and messy okay just take your time it's all right and there you go perfect so that's one side Okay, one side is done. And I'm just going to take another one of these clips and just put it in there so that it stays in place. And now we flip it and do the same thing on the other side. Peel the tape off and just make sure that the sticky side is attached to your vinyl right there and now we're going to start and just make sure you cover the um, the marking don't use pins like these type of pins Okay, don't use these because if you open a hole in the vinyl, it will not close up. So make sure that you do not use any of these pins. Don't use those. Okay. And just make sure that there are there is no gap in between the two edges of the vinyl. You want to match them exactly. is that if you notice that you missed um, the edge and it doesn't align you can always lift the vinyl and reapply it's um, it's not like glued together immediately it's simply using the, the double-sided tape to kind of help it keep it in place as you run it through the sewing machine and it's okay so just um, it's right here and then you can take it to the sewing machine and stitch it a, st a one eighth of an inch seam allowance right really close to that opening to the edge to 
kind of stitch it in place and then I stitched another around the edges at also uh, one eighth of an inch seam allowance and so that give it that little um, design and it also the stitching also helps the vinyl be more um, workable and bendable at this point we're just going to take the strap like here and you see the opening we're going to stitch it you do need a teflon foot for this i have heard of different tricks that you can like put like some tape under your regular foot and i decided to go ahead and buy this the teflon foot it's not that it wasn't that expensive and it's something that I am going to be using all of the time. The only other tip that I definitely use is putting a piece of freezer paper or butcher paper here on the bed of my sewing machine. And that helps the vinyl uh, slide. It doesn't stick to the bed here. But other than that, I just got uh, Teflon food and that's it. I don't want to be fighting with this thing all the time. much do whatever you want with it you can add a rivet to it or two you can fold it and add it to a d-ring do a rivet like I did in this on this side and that's it now one thing as you can see like there's like this edge um, that is lighter than the actual color of the strap and if you don't want that um, to show. I get Sharpies, they're the same color of my vinyl. And I'm telling you, they have Sharpies of every color. And I just take my Sharpie and I just kind of cover the edge. And this is a, a quick and easy way cover that um, to cover the edges the raw edges of your vinyl and if you have a color that is like super popular like this one then you can you know just get a, a sharpie or a permanent marker but they sell them in so many colors that most likely you'll be able to find a permanent marker that will match your vinyl. 